bit of a random one today, but this is five beauty products that I, natural beauty products that I use and I'll tell you how I use them and why I think they're great um, from a chemical free um, environmental perspective. So yeah, the first one to tell you about is um, tooth powder. Okay, so um, neem tooth and gum powder and it is gentle mint flavour and um, basically like look at the little size of it from a, an environmental point of view it's great and um, also if you're traveling anywhere also it's powder so if you're going through like i don't know an airport or something it's it's powder so it's not liquid um, and you, the way you use it is you just put like a tiny like one sprinkle on your toothbrush and then it lathers up a lot um, and yeah it tastes i really like the flavor and the taste of it and um it cost about i think i'm i it's so worn off now i don't know but like i'm gonna say like i don't know 10 euro and it says it lasts for up to 200 brushings per bottle which would be like just over three months but i i definitely brush my teeth twice if not more a day and um i think this probably lasts me about six months so it just depends how much powder you end up using on it you know um yeah so i think it's amazing i really love it from a lot of perspectives the um if you are you if you are used to like you know the regular brands like um can't even remember colgate and all those switching to natural toothpaste has is different like it's just different but it's great <laughs> so that's that the second thing that i really like and i wanted to show you is um this crystal deodorant okay um, so obviously it started off bigger than this um, and it is yeah it's a deodorant it's not an antiperspirant so like antiperspirants are you know sprays and they are stopping you pr from perspiring I don't really know how but I assume they're blocking the pores in some way and in my opinion seem to be like putting chemicals in and that's like if you are that's a very sensitive area into your lymph system and stuff like that and um you know women as well if you're shaving uh, and spraying chemicals in like I wouldn't be I, I've been using natural deodorant for years and years and it's great so just to make that distinction it's not an antiperspirant you will still perspire and um, which is natural and it's your body's way of eliminating um yeah it's an elimination system and it's also a way of your body cooling down and um, so what the crystal does is that it um you will still perspire but the bacteria it, the reason the reason that sweat smells is because it dries and then there's bacteria and it's that's where the smell comes from but the crystal makes it um clears not clears up but uh doesn't let you know like the way salt works like it's a salt kind of crystal thing so um it doesn't let the bacteria form so then there's no odor from it okay um and it's odorless itself so um yeah i mean this also lasts for such a long time like i mean if you don't drop it because <laughs> the way you use it is um you run the tap and just put it underneath and then you put it under your arms and um you know obviously let yourself dry for a minute or two but you run it under the tap and uh, you need to be careful not to let it drop because it will shatter and um, so i mean i think it would probably last six months and again this is the kind of bigger one because i like it because it has a decent grip and i have had the skinnier smaller one which was great for travel and um, as well before and um, yeah so big fan of this i looked on holland and barrett there i think it's like um uh six to eight euro depending on the size okay then the next thing i want to show you is um this deodorant as well it's called pit putty and um it is so i probably use i use the crystal every day but if i'm kind of there's no scent or smell off that kind of thing but if i was going somewhere that i suppose i wanted to have a, like stronger deodorant or something um and 
something that smells really nice I would use this one which is pit putty and um, it's made again this was 11 euro and it's made of shea butter and like there's coconut oil and the things that are drying within it is um, is arrowroot powder and bicarb and then it's got loads of essential oils in it and the way I use it is like you just say put a bit in and I just put it under my arm and just kind of wait because it's kind of hard and I just wait so obviously the heat of my body melts it a bit and then I put a bit under the other and I just wait and then I just rub them in um, and it dries there's no like film or residue from it or anything it dries in really well and it smells amazing so yeah those are my two deodorants and um, on a side note when I was in India I don't know how I ended up with no deodorant but um, I googled it and what I was using then was like um, a lime <laughs> I used to cut a lime in half and put that under my arms and it's actually lovely as well so that's just another random one okay the fourth thing is this which is dry hair shampoo and it this container is from a kid's play-doh thing that was left over and I put in some um cacao like uh yeah cacao like um and also bicarb and um, bicarbonate of soda and so because my hair is brown if my hair was blonde or light I suppose I'd use um just the bicarb because that's light it's white you know but my hair is brown so if I use that then I would look like a ghost or like I had grey hair kind of thing and um, so I just do this and I have like yeah I've had this again for ages that's why I can't really remember how I made it I know some people put in like essential oils with it and you can also use arrowroot powder which I think you can order in the health food shop it's again that it has that quality like cornstarch as well that quality of absorbing liquid and drying you know and so I basically just I put in like it's like a makeup brush kind of thing and I just um put it I can't believe it. this is really funny me doing a beauty thing but anyway um put it around on the brush and then I'll just you know work it in along the roots the same way and um, one thing about it is it's kind of messy um in your sink but sure what harm and second of all is it smells so nice so it'll make you hungry it smells like chocolate but sure it's no harm and the fifth one to show you is good old soap okay so there this is from the health food shop and it is a uh, natural soap and um i mean i use that in the shower and at the sink as well from a point of view of you know plastic and stuff um and yeah mainly from the point of view of plastic it's also like way cheaper come on it's just yeah i'll save from my rant about <laughs> um the commercialism of all things plastic but you know good old soap and in the health food shop it comes in a little paper bag or you can just bring it as it is bring your own bag so yes um that is it my five or five things that i use that are natural and um work really well for me so yeah if you want to be staying in touch with me you can subscribe here on youtube and join my email list that's where i communicate and send out what i've made so um yeah that's it take care